0110100000011000100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100
But at the end of the day, they're computer software. Their entire thought process is done in math and binary. So it's cool to know that next time you tell Siri to set an alarm you're definitely going to miss, its entire thought process was done in math and binary, even though it responds in the same synchronized voice you talk to it with. And once again, all of this begs a question. Why did the civilian use of Enigma not catch on? Why did teaching binary in schools not catch on? Why did a made-up math language not catch on? Why don't we speak in math? And please, as many impracticalities as you can name, I know. First of all, you have to spend years learning this made-up math language. Then you have to hope everyone else learns it, or else it becomes counterintuitive. You have to hope not to lose your culture attached to the languages you already speak at home. The list can go on. But for a second, imagine the positives. Imagine a world wherein the people are fluent in math. We already have a second language taught across every school in the world. Now, it's hard to agree what that one language should be. You'd have boring politics coming, like, oh, is their language better than ours? But nobody objects math. Nobody objects binary. Nobody objects computers. If there was a made-up math language wherein a set of numbers or symbols corresponded to grammar or different words, and please, I'd urge you to take this as far into your imagination as you'd like, then you could hold a business deal with a man in Japan without having to utter a word of Japanese. Yes, maybe we cannot speak math, but we sure can write it and understand it. Plus, as a 21st century, we can probably get computers to do that for us. And while this made-up math language may not be able to convey emotions, I'd argue that's a good thing. Because now the language of modern science can't fall victim to mere human disturbances like politics or discrimination. Once again, imagine a world wherein the people are fluent in math. It's still debated though whether math was invented or was it discovered. But what's not debated is that it was the greatest thing we have done as humans. Today though in our classrooms, Math does get a bad reputation because we have failed to educate not only the youth but also the general population that math isn't just a subject you learn to graduate. Math is, is much more than that. Math is an idea. Math has a purpose. But most important of all, math is the language of the universe. You don't learn math to merely graduate. You learn math so that you can understand the universe. You learn math so that you can understand the world you live in. You learn math so that while you exist in this world, you can also talk to it. Thank you very much.